I'll explain some of this stuff in regards to my life around a theme that we've talked about in class recently, which is self-love. And I can tell you when I first heard those two words together, I was like, what are you talking about? <gasps> it sounded like a foreign language, self-love. I hated myself so much. I didn't think I was worth the roof over my head. I had clinical depression and eating disorder for on and off different ones for 20 years. There were times I couldn't leave my apartment. Years. Um, couldn't look people in the eye. Would hit myself because I hated my body so much. So people talking about self-love, I was just irritated and couldn't even wrap my head around it. As I started practicing yoga, I noticed that things started to fall away, like drinking and smoking, for example. And a friend said, oh, you know, she lived in an ashram and her Swami told her, you can't stop things. You can't break your habits. You have to bring something more compelling into your life and those will just fall away. And I was starting to see that. So I was starting to see that I didn't have as much um, angst for myself. I was feeling a little more comfortable in my skin. Some of that was falling away. When I found Kundalini Yoga, which is the lineage of yoga that we provide at Rebel Human, um, that's when I started to learn about this idea of a spirit. So we've got the body and the mind. And in our culture, again, there's a lot of body-mind talk. And the spirit has been lost. So that's another aspect of this amazing healing tradition that we've been given that has been lost because, oh, that's too weird. But when I was introduced to this idea that there's this other thing that is not my body, which I did not like, and wasn't my mind full of crazy thoughts, fear, old stories, triggers, I was like, there's something else. And when I started to learn about that something else and started to get a little more connected to it, I thought, oh, maybe I could love that. And that is that bright, radiant, pure light that is alighting this electrical system. I do believe there is something that alights this body, mind, organism, skin suit thing. And that thing that I believe is indestructible and has never been hurt, no matter what this trauma this has gone through, that I can start to love. So this practice provides the framework and the tools to start to get to know this other part of ourselves that is pure, radiant, indestructible. And when we start to have that relationship, a much deeper, more elevated relationship, our best self, you may call it, our highest self, the ick starts to fall away because this is way more compelling. So the behaviors, the habits that are holding us back, they start to fall away. The obsessions, the worry, the ego, the, the need to acquire, the need to covet, all of those things that create suffering in our lives start to fall away. So that's really like at the essence of this practice, like the deepest part of it. And all of the tools that we have are there to support that and make that connection happen.